Uh, by the time you see this episode, he'll actually have been home for a couple of weeks. But he literally got home last night. He was out on the Monsters of Rock cruise with Dangerous Toys. We're going to talk a little bit about some of his highlights, the toys performances. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, th- how many of these have you been on? I asked you during the show. And I mean, between yeah. Dangerous Toys and then Dirty Looks and... Uh, broken teeth broken teeth stuff on the ship rock yeah which is- yeah yeah the teeth have done a few uh dirty looks did last year for the first time so you're no stranger to these rock cruises yeah the toys have done like six seven of them so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's great it's a it's it's like a law lo- it's a five-day meet and greet i say that all the time now because todd latore is nailed it that's what he calls it it's pretty much what it is yeah so if you as soon as you leave your cabin you're subject to being stopped for automatic photo selfies autograph session blah 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 blah. and me and the toys guys we're we're wide open to do that for people that have come from all over the world yeah all over there were people there from colombia and you know just south america there were you know what there were about probably i could probably count say for sure maybe 10 uh people from germany who saw watchtower at keep it true oh wow nice. so see and i was just like yeah we were there we were at keep it true we saw watchtower it's unbelievable it's like a dream come true so there was a lot of that kind of stuff wow. going on and there was a lot of, we saw you with Accept, you know, year before last. We saw you with Dark. There was all that was going on. Was so, do you know all, how many people fit on that boat? Do you know the capacity of thousands? The boat? Yeah. 3,000? Yeah. More? Okay. Maybe more? Yeah. Just curious, you know. Yeah. How many bands? And it, and it was sold out. Do you know how many bands are on, were on? Uh, the let me board? see. Let me see. You you keep count. I'll just start. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll just start we blowing up for that. I was just looking for a number, not all the oh, names. Oh, 30? 30, okay. That's a guess. That's yeah. just a guess. Okay. All right. Well, I know this year uh, the lineup was, I mean, they they always do a great job of putting together a solid lineup. Oh, yeah. We talk about it in the episode, so I won't rattle yeah, off. Yeah, but real quick, Ace Freely was the big draw. Yeah. But you had K.K. Downing and Glenn Hughes. Uh, Johnny Kelly from Typo Negative was, he plays drums in Quiet Riot. Oh, Yeah. And they were fucking amazing. Jizzy Pearl singing. Yeah. Uh, so Rudy Sarzo killing it. So, yeah. yeah, on the boat, Glenn Hughes, Rudy Sarzo, KK Downing, Ace Freely. Crazy, dude. Just walking around. Ace Freely. Hey, took, did I see? Uh, Ace Freely took selfies with people. What? Was Steve Harris on the boat? I'm sorry. Steve Harris, KK Downing. Yeah. Steve Harris, British Lions was British on the show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's it it goes and goes. I mean, there was a lot of star power on the boat, um, and it's it's just a great time. And and if you you got to pull the trigger on it, man. One of these days, I need to go. And you know, it's like, oh man, I get seasick real easy. So what? Uh, you know, yeah. I don't have that problem. I have a money problem. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, I it's pretty that. pricey. I mean, if you're if you're not one of the performers or whatever, and uh sure I, mean, I don't even know what it costs i think i asked somebody one time and they said just count on three thousand dollars as a baseline and then of course you gotta fly to or drive to miami the port of departure you have to look at it like what you're gonna spend on a family vacation yeah and that's what it is it's yeah. not just i'm going on the monsters rock cruise it's Oh, it's my vacation. I'm going, you know, it happens in the spring sometimes. It happens February, early year. Sometimes it happens in November. So you just have to plan it out as that's our family vacation. So we need to, you know, just know that we have this money. I'm putting this money away for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's pretty much what it is. Well, like, uh, yeah, one of these days, one of these days. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad uh, you had a great time. I'm glad you're home safe. Uh, Queen's Reich was amazing. I forgot to mention Queen's Reich earlier. Uh, yeah. Did but... they do the whole uh, warning record? No, because, you know, as a lot of uh, Queen's Reich fans and Armored Saint fans know, they're teaming up. Armored Saint is supporting Queen's Reich on this, uh, I think it's like the Origins tour or something yeah. like that, where they're doing yeah. the warning and the EP songs. Yeah. 
Um, and they're doing a ton of dates and that starts really soon. Yeah. Um, and Queensryche is on the, uh, the gig I'm doing in two weeks in Houston and hell's heroes. They're playing the same, the, they're headlining, uh, Friday, March 22nd and Watchtower is playing at 520 that evening. And a couple hours later, Queensryche is playing. So, uh, that's going to be, that's, it's great. Um, yeah, but they are doing, uh, I'm sorry on the ship. They did not. Yeah. They, Uh, they, uh, they, they did kind of a, a greatest hits, if you will. On the subject of Queensryche, I took a road trip to San Antonio to see my buddy Al uh, last weekend, and I pulled out uh, the last Queensryche album, Digital Noise Alliance. And I know that uh, you and I were kind of hot on that album for a while. And yeah, they to... played some stuff from that. Man, that album really holds up. That is yes. such a good album. Uh, it's better live. Yeah. Well, I've seen them do some of it live when they've mm-hmm. come through Austin. Uh saw a couple couple shows and San Antonio, courtesy of Todd, who was kind enough to hook mm-hmm. us up. But yeah, that's a great album. Well, yeah, the, the lineup looked amazing. Ace Fraley, Queensryche, Armored Saint, KK's Ace Priest, Dangerous Toys. Glenn Hughes. Glenn Hughes, yeah. So uh we'll let you tell the story and uh yeah, Jason's report of Monsters of Rock Cruise 2024 right here on the Talk Louder podcast. <laughs> 